Welcome to my new series. Uh, I'm going to try to produce a few videos, training videos, just short videos on different um, applications and controls on boilers and hot water heaters and furnaces. So this particular one today is going to be on the Fields Draft Damper. And it is on the oil burner. It is a six inch control. It's got two wires going to it. One is the power coming in that goes down to the CAD cell relay down there on the floor. Okay. The other one goes to this stack switch, which is mounted in the smoke pipe. And it's got a manual reset button on it. And inside of this, there is a damper. It's a stainless steel housing. It's recommended to install after the draft regulator, between the chimney and the draft regulator. The, the reason for that is you don't want, when this is shut, you don't want the draft, the room air, going up the chimney. So you install it here so it shuts off the draft regulator and the air from the burner going up the chimney on the off cycle. So it wants to be installed in a horizontal position or a vertical position. And on the side of this, there is a, which you can't see, but there is a switch on the very top that will lock it. If there's a failure, it will lock it into normally open all the time in case there is an issue. Let me see if I can get you a picture of that switch. Okay, there we go. So there's a switch. But anyway, by flipping that switch, you can lock the damper so it stays open. There is a shaft here. That connects to a, just a round damper that's inside of the smoke pipe. Now that damper is stainless steel round damper and on the end it's got little stainless steel pieces that are cut act like little fingers so it will seal up around the pipe good but also give it some flexibility when it opens and closes. It's got a Molex plug down at the bottom here so you can unplug it In the center, there is a high limit switch. If it gets too hot, that will, it's a manual reset. It will de trip and you'll have to manually reset it. This is the manual reset here. So you have a yellow wire that comes up from the burner and I'll show you how that's wired later. So if the stack overheats in the event that the damper doesn't open um, or the chimney gets plugged for some reason, that this reset here, this manual reset, will it will overheat, fumes will come up in here, the temperature, and it will pop off on a safety a temperature. So if that is ever popped, you want to check for, see if the damper is opening. And if the damper does open, then you want to check the chimney and the smoke pipe for blockages. Okay, down here, the other side, the wire coming from the draft damper comes down and in, into this aquastat. This is a hydrostat made by hydro level. And that'll be another video if you're interested. So what we have here is, this is coming from the damper. So from the damper, there's the yellow wire that we saw before. So from the damper, we have a yellow, this orange, a black, a white, and a ground. Okay, so the black, if we look at it, should go right to L1, the power coming in. So black is power coming in. We have to supply power to the damper motor. So power and common that goes up to the damper motor to supply power. So that's what these two wires are right here. Then you're left with the green ground wire that goes to the chassis ground. Then the last thing is you have a yellow wire and an orange wire. The orange wire will connect to B1 to power the burner. So what you would do is you disconnect the wire that goes to the burner. You would take it off the terminal. You would connect your orange wire here that goes up to the draft damper. It goes through an end switch, 
comes back through yellow wire here and then back down to the burner motor. On, so for on a call for heat, the Aquastat relay gets pulled in, sends power to the B1 terminal, which in this case is the orange. So it, power comes up to the damper, which activates the damper. The damper opens. When that damper gets fully open, it connects an end switch, which sends power down through the wire to the high limit. If the high limit is n closed, in other words, not tripped, it will send it back and back down through this yellow wire, which goes down to the burner. If it's off on reset and you don't, it's like there's no power whatsoever, then more than likely this is off on limit or the damper is not moving, the motor's dead. So that's why they put the switch on the top of it. So if in the event of the damper motor is dead and it's not opening, you can put a pair of pliers on it or you buy your fingers, open the damper, flip the switch to on, and it will just lock it on all the time in an emergency case. Or if for some reason you want to deactivate it. Inside your damper, there's sealed bearings. There's no maintenance inside there. The damper should be taken apart and cleaned with the annual inspection as normal. Test these in the annual inspection. Make sure everything's functioning properly. Hope you enjoyed this video.